Why do some people say being vegan is hard? If you ask me, if you're not offended by that, look, listen good to what I have to say. Because you maybe not like it. And people become irrational when they hear some something they're not like. I have acknowledged. Is because they are never watch hit from the position of the animals. They are, are self righteous. Oh, not something people like to hear. That are self righteous pricks, idiots or pricks. Because if we are say something like this in this regard, like uh, it is our choice to do this. It is our choice to eat animals. It is our free choice. What are in reality do is they take the victim out the scenario. So that they are only being the one that may be a little bit suffer because of social struggle or something like that. Pretty arrogant, if you ask me. If you do it, might I explain it in another way? If some uh, supremacist and white supremacist do that, and say, um, and play the place of aggressive cards in this regard, and say, oh, I find it so hard to give up my bigotry against black people because my ancestors have told me that I, I can explain how oh, it's white. Uh, black people because they're inferior. They have a low IQ, you know. You know? You know that. Anybody knows that. Look to the statics. Since when is that uh, justification for racism? Since when is that a justification for bigotry? Or if some sexists do the same thing. They are no like us. They are women, you know. They don't feel the same way we do. We are men. And they are women. They are more reacting on instincts. They are standing on the same place. As the lowest of us. That's bigotry. That's bigotry. And that we all understand. I know people have the understanding to distinct right from wrong. Because most people hate pedophiles and rapists. So why? Not despising people who harm animals. It is hypocritical. Why <laughs> despising one when no one wants to abuse? They're all wish it will go away. Stop thinking only about yourself. Stop being so self-righteous. We vegans are not a problem. You maybe do think that. Because, so I have to say, you use one bigotry mindset. Just like the rapists use, just like the pedophiles use, just like cannibals use. They take the victim out of the scenario so that they don't feel the guilt of the costing the suffering to the victims. If we look at it from a realistic point of view, then we know that animals, just like children, just like women, just like homosexuals, just like blacks, don't want to be seen as objects, want not to be turned in commodities, not want to be seen if their only words come from the profits the society can make from their misery. Maybe my words are harsh for you.
ah, I truly not care. And if you find that also unfair, then I will say, my clients are the animals, and the animals only. I speak for them. I'm not one human rights activist, necessarily. I defend some of the people that are vegan. I truly believe are uh, fighting the good fight. But I don't support lunatics or hypocrites. And maybe some of you called me a hypocrite. And I say, oh, then have I to say something to you? I'm an earthling first and foremost. And as such, I choose which benefits the earth as one whole. I'm not a human supremacist. I am not watch things from one bias from one anthropocentric position. I am not, have not unbiased in favor of homini, the two legged savage, or so like dare to call themselves Homo sapiens. But if you ask me, if you think about it, it's pretty ridiculous. So I will call it rather Homo ridiculous. Because ridiculous means the fool, and sapien means the wise, in Latin. And all of that, pick and choose to which to be kind or not, and thinking that is okay to do, if you ask me, is ridiculous. <laughs> because nobody wants that somebody use that kind of mindset when they are a victim. Use compassion. Compassion is the only guarantee of morality without consideration of any alternative motive. Because the suffering person, and because the observation of the suffering person when he use empathy, when he use compassion, is not much different than the of the suffering person have a scene and therefore the barrier between the ego and the non-ego is for a moment of others and therefore I say compassion is the only form of true moral conduct all the other forms uh, ego and malice have no moral uh, value There are not good. And malice can be extremely toxic in many regards, just like ego. But compassion cannot lead to, on its own, to massacres like the of the Holocaust. Holocaust means, uh, by the way, in Hebrew, the sacrifice of a male animal on the altar of God. Spectacular and hurt animal. So ironic that it be, can be used for the seven, um, billion, uh, seven million Jews and the, seven, and the six million uh, mental retarded people and gypsies and not for the animals, how it been in the first place for stop consider yourself as the most important thing on this planet people honestly stop with that because humanity have to learn decency they have to learn To stop see themselves as something separate from nature, from nature. This is a kind of an optional delusion of their or, or our consciousness.
which allowed us to only give compassion to some close to us in our cults, sure, or in our family group, or only from the people who are in our country. But we have to learn to spread our compassion to all living innocent beings, no matter the nationality, no matter the species, no matter the race, no matter the sex, no matter what else. Only when we have to learn to respect all living beings, we will find peace ourselves. I am not the problem. Do you know how to be the problem? Look in this mirror. Admit when you are wrong. It don't matter that you being wrong once in your life. Do you know what m matters more? That's when you admit when you're wrong, make a plea and move forward. And stop making excuses for the same stupid evil stuff. Over and over again. I am not a bigot. Bigots. They're victims. Their arrogant entitlements over the ones who have less political power than them. I call them what they are. Bigotry. Bigots. Racists. Sexists. Scums. Abominations. I'm not a political correct weirdo. Yes, are you also shocked by that word? Weirdo. Somebody is a little bit nuts. Somebody how make no common sense. Somebody that is crazy or maybe insane. If you know the difference. Between the two. So, the only thing we vegans ask you is stop costing huge amount of suffering to innocent living beings who have nothing harmed you or me ever in their whole life. Is that so hard to do? Eat beans, eat lentils, eat legumes. I mean also many kinds of vegan cheese that you can eat in this damn age. There have been also a lot, and I repeat a lot, of meat substance. For example, uh, Tofurky have a lot of different stuff. I'll put a link in the description also uh, if you want to check it out. You can also check the website of Gary Orofsky. Go to the recipe section and check out the, the, the food on that uh, website as well. And I ask you now, but please make not the same as, as asinine stupid excuses humans have made for sensory to oppress each other. If you want to create, make me angry, you have to do that. Because I know them all. I know my history. I know the acidic, stupid justifications people have done, used around the whole century. I have to remember them all. No, for any of them an answer. So don't be so arrogant. 
just call vegan. What's the excuse for costing the least amount of harm possible on this planet? It's always being vegan. If you give, no matter if you give about the environment or you give about the animals more than 70 billion in a year, there's only the land animals, the land non humane animals. Be not a fool. Stop being such self righteous. I am not self righteous. I am the righteous one. And I also say being in the majority is no guarantee of being right. So we always know. Majority of white slave masters were wrong. Majority of men were wrong before women get the right. It takes so long. For why? Why? As, uh, explain me. Why not? If humans are sane, logical, caring, friendly creatures, why not have it take two seconds to clean it all up? If humans are rational, if humans are moral, if humans have any common sense, the majority of them. Maybe Schopenhauer was right when he say the majority of home of man of humans of how many the majority of men are incapable of thinking but only to believing are incapable also of reasoning but only to authority authority like dictators like dictators like Kings, queens, emperors, their masters. One of the most important things I think people have to learn in this time is to learn to think for themselves. Have a free mind. Think rational and kindly. Morality can only come from Compassion, and it is not moral by that extent. Kind to hang animals upside down on the slaughterhouse floor so somebody can cut their throat and turn them in property. A property. That's not what rights are about. That's a violation. And there is no discussion about this. Screw you, I am right. Think about what I have said. And always, when darkness and light become one, the reality splits in a way and the truth become visible.